Hello again. Yesterday was the warmest day of this year so far. The temperature reached 34.8 Celsius in Cambridge. But as we go through the rest of the week, it is going to turn that bit cooler. There'll be rain at times. It will be unseasonably windy at times as well but there'll still be a fair bit of sunshine around. Now, today we've got this weather front bringing in some rain. And if we follow where it wraps around across the northwest, here we'll see a return to sunshine and showers later, but unseasonably windy across the northwest with gales across the Outer Hebrides and the Isle of Skye today. Our weather front continuing to drift eastwards through the day, ahead of it across central and eastern parts of England, staying dry with some sunshine. And about temperatures in Norfolk and Suffolk could get up to 30 degrees, but fresher conditions in the north and the west. Through this evening and overnight, our weather front continues to drift eastwards as a weakening feature, not getting into the far southeast where it could well be preceded by some showers, but some clear skies and the winds easing. In sheltered parts of the northwest, temperatures could fall away to five or six degrees, but still quite warm in the south at 15 or 16. Tomorrow then we start off with the cloud, some spots of rain initially, that will tend to fizzle. But as we move west through southwest England, Wales, the Midlands, northern England, Scotland and northern Ireland, lots of dry weather, fair bit of sunshine, but the wind strengthening later on in the day out towards the west with more cloud building. Temperatures 15 to about 24. Then as we move from Wednesday into Thursday, while well, we've got this next clutch of fronts connected to this area of low pressure coming our way, and if you look at the isobars, it is going to be quite unseasonably windy across England and Wales ahead of this weather front. So after a dry start, the cloud will build as the rain continues to push southwards across Scotland and Northern Ireland into Northern England and also Wales. Brighter skies follow on behind and temperatures 15 to about 26 degrees. Then as we head on into Friday, we've got the remnants of that weather front to clear away from the southeast and the English Channel. Channel Islands, what you'll find is behind it will become drier and brighter, but also some showers being driven in on a blustery wind across the northwest. Here we've got highs of 14 degrees, but in the southeast looking at about 24.